This is how tour cycling used to be. And the prices it used to be. Very interesting, look at this display in the whole museum. Bicycles were an integral part of the transport in the UK before those could afford cars. And some chose to buy a bicycle that could serve as a ride to work. Used for weekend getaways and holidays. There's some wonderful displays and also photographs of businesses that prospered during the heyday of the bicycle. Particularly the 30s. It seems 1937. This is a three-speed type derailleur. The bike needed adapting with a brazed on bracket, perfectly upright, different sizes. And then, adaptation. Rather nice front hub there, racing style. Serious club riders. Chromo tubing. Spokes were made to size. It was a blank, cut to length, and threaded. These were the machines able to you to do it. Cast iron wheel stands. Cycle stands. And before the advent of AE, this was the big business. This was the business to be in a prospectus, soliciting money, but the factory failed. That was in eighteen ninety. Stony Archer produced the three speed range. And Rob Light Rolfhoff in a variety of configurations. Three and full speed.
and this was the variety they produced. Oddly, some of the lights were acetylene. And I can remember as a child that acetylene was bought from my local cycle shop. Acetylene lights were still used because they proved superior to batteries. And that went into the 50s and 60s. And I even had a tin such as that yellow canister. A wonderful informative place to visit if you're interested in bicycles and if you're interested in our eventual return to bicycles but not perhaps as we have known them.